In this video, we'll look at drawing tree diagrams. So suppose Antonio has three movie choices. One's The Matrix, one's The Fellowship of the Ring, and one is X-Men First Class. He also has two types of choices for each. Oh, I'll erase these little marks here. There we go. He has two types of choices for each movie. He can see it in 2D or see the movies in 3D. He's got to pick only one. And he has four choices for popcorn. I'll fix this F here. He can have regular popcorn, extra butter, extra salt, or caramel. So first, let's draw a tr tree diagram and illustrate his choices. And then secondly, we'll look at how many choices there are. So the answer for part A is start with two big branches. We're going to need a lot of room for this tree diagram, so I'm going to make two big branches here. You have to have a starting point. And then, oh, and we have three movie choices, so we start with three branches. And we can abbreviate these. You can write abbreviations or single letters. So I'll have here for The Matrix, TM, and The Fellowship of the Ring, I'll call that T-F-O-T-R, The Fellowship of the Ring, and X-Men First Class, X. FC, X-Men First Class. Notice, they don't have to be perfectly lined up, but they should be more or less lined up. This column is the first choice. And for each of those choices, whichever movie he picks, he gets two choices of what kind of movie he sees. Either it's a 2D movie or it's a 3D movie. Same thing if he chooses this one. He either gets a 2D movie or a 3D movie. And same with this movie. He either gets a 2D movie or a 3D movie. And finally, there are four choices for popcorn. So each of those has to have four choices coming out of it. We're going to label each one. I'm just going to draw them first. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but they should be more or less lined up. And we're going to have four branches coming out of each of the 2Ds and each of the 3Ds. And these represent the four choices of popcorn. So they are regular, extra butter, extra salt, or caramel. So I'll go regular, extra butter, extra salt, or caramel. So I'm using R, E, B, E, S, or C. R, E, B, E, S, E, C. And I gotta keep doing them all. Extra butter, extra salt, caramel. Regular, extra butter, extra salt, caramel, last one, regular, extra butter, extra salt, and caramel. The good thing about a tree diagram is it helps you solve questions, but we're just looking at the most basic question you can ask, how many total paths are there? Well, you could count each path, one, two, three, four, but it's much simpler just to look at the last set of branches and notice there are four choices six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And so the total number of choices is just six times four, which is of course 24. Therefore, there are four, sorry, 24 total choices. And we figured that out by first drawing a tree diagram, three choices of movie, and for each one of those, two types of possible movie viewing, and for each one of those, four choices for popcorn. So there are 24 different choices that Antonio can make. And we could use this tree diagram to solve more complicated question of how many of those choices had this kind of popcorn, of how many of them are in 2D. But we're just interested in this video, just looking at how to draw a basic tree diagram and count the total number of choices.